Hello, first graders. Welcome back to another day of distance learning. I hope that you all are excited and ready to continue on with our read aloud for this week. Um, you know, I always have to bring it up. Our IB trait or connection for this month is open minded. An open minded scholar appreciates their own culture. They're open to others and they are willing to grow. All right. And of course, I read aloud for this week is The Year at Maple Hill Farm, written and illustrated by Alice and Martin Robinson. I hope I'm saying their name right. All right. So let's get into it. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so that you all can see. So yesterday we stopped at, I believe it was May. So let's read about one of my favorite months besides March. <laughs> June. June is the first month of summer. The farm pond is overflowing. The pasture is green. All the animals enjoy the new green grass. So there's that word. Pasture. Pasture is the land that is it's land that's covered with grass and other low plants. A pasture. Make myself a little bit bigger again for you. All right. It says horses eat grass, geese eat grass, cows and sheep and goats eat grass, chickens eat grass too. But that's not the reason the chickens are out in the pasture. They are chasing insects. The horses stir up insects with their big feet. Chickens love insects. The mother duck is out on the pond. She is teaching her ducklings to swim. Someone else is out today too. The good gray cat is teaching her kittens to hunt. That bird is safe on his branch, but those squirrels had better watch out. Cats don't eat grass or insects. There's the bird. Oh, it looks like the cat's getting ready to pounce on those squirrels. Let me let you look at the chickens and the horses. The illustrator did a very great job with these pictures. In June, there are enough insects to go around. The fields are hopping with insects grasshoppers and leaf hoppers and tree hoppers there are plenty of flies around in june dragonflies and mayflies and blue flies and butterflies the only kind of fly that i like are butterflies but sometimes they get they fly near me and i'm like <laughs> get out the way <laughs> all right how about y'all do y'all like flies Girls and boys, do y'all like flies? I don't like them because they try to get in my food and eat all of my food. And I'm like, no, shoe fly don't bother me. <laughs> in June, there are enough horse flies to go around and around. In summer, the fields are full of flowers. Goats and sheep like flowers. Bees like flowers. Everyone likes flowers. Want to stop here? Um, pioneers, tell me dun, 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 your favorite flower. This is for attendance, pioneers. I want you to tell me your favorite flower. And I may give you brownie points if you could tell me my favorite flower. <laughs> Again, only the pioneers. Tell me your favorite flower. Okay. Sorry about that. Let's keep going. The flowers are buzzing with bees. Bumblebees and honeybees and busy bees. Flowers like bees. They need them. 
In summer, the grass is hopping with fleas. No one likes fleas. They bite. It looks like here that fleas are all on the dog and the dog is just scratching away. Fleas, fleas, fleas. July. July comes after June. It's hard to sleep on a night in July. If the moon is full and shining and the summer stars are out. There are so many sounds to listen to. Frogs croak, crickets chirp, an owl is hooting to another owl. The old people on the porch are chatting in low voices about old times. A cow lows now and then. You can hear the steady clank of the conveyor carrying the sweet scented hay to the loft in the barn. You can hear the quiet laughter of the men as they work. You can hear a mother goose hissing softly, warning strangers from her nest in the shed. Sometimes, if everything is silent for a moment, you can hear the horses eating grass. All right, boys and girls, we are going to stop here. Let's take out our diagrams from yesterday. You should have filled out April and May. So to answer April's question, um, it doesn't necessarily have to be like mine's, uh, but if you did put what I put, go you. Um, so it says, describe and draw the changes that happen to the farm in the spring. So I put, you can tell that it is spring because all of the eggs. And then for May, it says, how do the animals get comfortable? And one of mine, or what I put was the animals are shorn or they molt, like the chicken, they molt. All right, so let's move on to June. Now you can draw pictures for all of them. I just didn't draw pictures because I'm not a good artist and I didn't want Mr. Kelly to talk about my pictures. <laughs> so for June, it says describe changes to the farm in the summer. What are some changes to the farm in the summertime? And then if you are like me, I'll make it a little bit bigger. So you have your paper here. We're going to turn it or flip it over. I know you all won't be able to see, but you're going to write July here. Okay, so here is where you will put July. So on the front of my paper, I have, of course, January, February, March, April, May, June, and then the back is July. And you will answer the question. Let me make this a little bit smaller so you all can see. What are the sounds of the summer? Don't forget, you are turning this in. Today is Wednesday and you will be turning in June. The answer to June and the answer to July in your portfolios or wherever your teacher wants you to turn it in. I look forward to... I've seen you all on Thursday. I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.